This is the Behind the Line podcast, and this is Headlines in Three Minutes for Tuesday, November 23rd, 2021. President Biden has authorized the release of 50 million barrels from the Strategic Oil Reserve in an attempt to bring down the price of gas. New York City wants to allow 800,000 non-citizens to vote. A bill known as the Our City, Our Vote would extend that right to more than 800,000 people who are green card holders. The man from Waukesha who ran over and injured 48 people during a parade and killed five had just been released on bail for running over his child's mother with the same vehicle. He was released on a $1,000 bail. The Kremlin on Tuesday said new sanctions imposed by the United States in connection with the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline were illegal and wrong, especially at a time when Moscow and Washington are attempting to rebuild dialogue. Monday's sanctions targeted Russia-linked Transideria LTD and its vessel. Washington opposes the $11 billion pipeline, which runs under the Baltic Sea, to bypass Ukraine and carry gas from Russia's Arctic region to Germany. I guess Biden only wants oil to come from the Middle East. The head of the United Nations Atomic Watchdog met Tuesday with Iranian officials to press for greater access in the Islamic Republic ahead of diplomatic talks restarting over Tehran's tattered nuclear deal with world powers. The International Atomic Energy Agency yet again faces tightrope-style walks with Iranian officials as its inspectors remain unable to access surveillance footage and face greater challenges in trying to monitor Tehran's rapidly growing uranium stockpile. Iran enriches small amounts of uranium up to 60% purity, its highest ever, and close to weapons-grade levels of 90%. Iran maintains its program is peaceful. The COVID-19 pandemic, inflation, and even uneven economic recovery have resulted in new reports that Americans are struggling with record amounts of debt, an eye-popping $15 trillion worth, to be exact. Jen Psaki announced that Biden is planning to run again for president in 2024. What a joke that'll be. The ATF could be moving towards a federal gun registry, a group of House Republicans warned Monday. A group of 51 Republicans addressed concerns about the agency's proposed rule that requires gun shops to keep their record, their reports beyond a 20-year period. This proposed rule would be a giant leap toward a federal firearm registry, which is explicitly banned by law. The state of Idaho is requiring landowners with springs or wells to register those water bodies, or the state will take ownership of them. This has been Behind the Line Podcast. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.